Pawan Kulkarni sir, and uh, who is presently assistant professor at Nitya Minakshi Institute of Technology, and he has also uh, been a guest faculty at Pondicherry University and uh, SKBK College, and he has also worked with Igno. Okay, so uh, he will be dealing with the practical part as we have told you all about already also. Okay, so if you have any doubts with respect to the preparation and all, you can ask him. So I'll hand over the session to you. Sir, welcome you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you for uh, no helping our students. Very good time. Thank you very much. Sir. Ignore is also the same kind. 
when you are uh, taking the MBA or MCOM, okay, you know, and sometimes uh, uh, not in other universities like uh, Pondicherry universities. So not this much was as a one subject to consider. It is a club of one one subject is almost uh, no, six seven subjects combined and uh, put it. Okay, so again it is uh, prepare, preparing for uh, this particular. No subjects, what I think totally we have six subjects, right? Yeah. Six, six subjects. Six subjects. Six subjects. Okay. okay. Including general studies. General studies. Yes. General studies. Eight subjects. Eight subjects are one, two subjects are just for ACPA. Okay. And the number is also like six subjects are for school. Some of the topics probably you might be even having some you know, uh, basic information in your uh, commerce, right? Some of the you know, economics or you know, accounting or uh, financial planning. Right? Okay. Not that it is completely new as if you, know, you are studying first time. Okay. But here it is a you know, little bit of uh, depth or you know, uh, problem just now I saw one of your question paper where they asked. Uh, you know, problem on working capital management. Okay, so normally MBA or MCOM, I, I think probably uh, you know 20 marks or 15 marks is the maximum marks each question can carry maximum case study problem. Even in the MBA, we have 20 marks problem. Okay, so the same similar type of problem they asked for 60 marks. Okay, and I saw that it is not worth of asking for 60. So that's what we are seeing whether the question is worth of asking for 50 or 50 60 marks. It is worth of in the range of 25 30 only. Okay. So, but uh, you know, it is a benefit if, if you can, you know, uh, and also it is a compulsory question. First and 50 is yeah, yeah. And uh, both of you know, uh, questions are again a problem only. Okay. Again, since uh, you know, syllabus or even the pattern is new. Hardly only one particular uh, uh, exam was conducted earlier. This is not going to write the second exam. But again, uh, predicting the question paper also with difficulties. We do not know what type. You cannot exactly follow the previous question paper. Okay, first you know, in that paper they asked the working capital management. Okay, we will study only working capital management. Okay, they may ask a problem from the same uh, topic. We do not know. Okay. So what type of problems they are asking? So that's the reason the you know two days back I will just uh, you know identify the practical component where problems are expected or a topic which is connected with some practical component that was uh, you know marked and identified and that is what we are planning to deal uh, you know handle classes offline mode. Okay. And some of the uh, classes you can manage using uh, you know online mode of uh, classes that you want to be scheduled uh, accordingly. <laughs> okay. Today's class, uh, you know, uh, what my plan of today's session is uh, to begin with uh, you know, paper number seven, corporate finance. Paper number seven, corporate finance. That is, uh, you know, section M. What you have. Uh, there is a third of work, profit maximization, wealth maximization, and uh, uh, the role of financial man finance managers or management, time value of money. Okay, so problems are again uh, comes under you can expect problems on time value of money and uh, valuation of securities, like right? valuation of equity stock and valuation of uh, bonds or debt instrument. Okay, so concepts of risk and return is. Again, a topic which is expected even for uh, problem using the either the form of beta or standard deviation, there are risk measures. Okay, using those uh, uh, measures, you can even 
calculate risk condition. Okay. And using product and distribution measure risk related portfolio introduction to CAP. So in today's session I will be you know, briefing about uh, basics of financial management, introduction part and uh, profit and innovation or wealth management innovation and uh, focusing on uh, time value of money. Okay. Now tell me uh, how do you differentiate profit maximization and wealth maximization? In simple in simple term, how you can differentiate both? Which is better according to you? Why? If you know the concept, you can write on your own because the subjects are abstract subjects. There is no limit or even solution. For example, when you write a, uh, you know, some of the theoretical question, even in the scheme of evaluation, people because we uh, used to go for a different university evaluation, okay, Bangalore, BCU, Pondicherry, and VTU. You have all the you know, evaluation system. There, they give a scheme of evaluation. Okay. Their answer is not exactly given, especially in the theory subjects. Okay. Problems, of course, the same method. Okay. Plus or minus some five ten percent variation between the steps or you know, method. But uh, you know, problem is guaranteed. Answer should be if fifteen point five. Answer should be fifteen point five only. Okay. But in theory, they will only mention the points. The explanation, what you have to write. They will also mention sometimes if a student has you know written so and so points with a you know required explanation. That is the scheme. They don't write if it's 60 marks or 30 marks. They don't write three pages or four pages scheme. You might be writing you know five to six pages for each question, but scheme will be half a page or probably one page. The person who set the question paper, he will be asked to set even scheme or maybe experts who are going to evaluate a team of committee. Okay, so like even when we are sending uh, question papers to VTU, we are regularly sending question papers. Even I am sending question papers for different college, uh, BMS, Ramaya College, Christ Alliance, because they are autonomous and universities. So they have, they will ask me in, in, in terms we will also collect the question paper from the same you know colleges faculties. So along with the question paper, we will also set one scheme. Okay, if a student writes so much content for 10 marks, for this 3 marks, 4 marks and 3 marks. Okay, first part if he completes 5 marks and again 5 marks. Okay, here it is, since it is a descriptive type of examination, don't think that if you don't write a uh, right answer or if your answer is wrong, you don't get 0 marks. In MBA or this kind of uh, subject especially, you cannot score 0 in exam. You will not score. If you want to score zero, okay, you have to struggle a lot. Scoring zero is very, very impossible. At least some or the other, okay. It has happened once, uh, you know, when we were studying, one student uh, particularly wanted to challenge that he wanted to score zero marks in Bangalore City MBA. He did it. He appeared for exam, okay, yeah. he wrote only his roll number and signature, that's all. For neatness, he has given five marks. Okay. Neatly, you know, maintains you know, his booklet. Because evaluators normally they don't feel to give zero. At least two marks or three marks. Okay, for any particular subject. Okay, whatever they write in uh, descriptive, especially in objective type of questions. Obviously, you know, system evaluated concept. No question of manual. So automatically, whether you get zero or one, two or hundred out of hundred, it is possible. In descriptive, it is you know very difficult to score uh, very very uh, low marks. Okay. So if you have a you know concept based in between, you know especially in a case study or a problem which is of uh, thirty marks or sixty marks, understanding the concept and attempting the problem from the uh, you know initial uh, levels is always uh, advisable. Okay. Don't you know lose the uh, hope that you know, my answer might be wrong. For 60 marks, even if the last you know, answer is wrong, 
uh, not that you will get zero. It is probably 30, 40, 50. Depends on where you are making a mistake. Evaluate also says where in which level you have made a mistake. If you have made a mistake in the last bottom one or two levels, probably you may get even at least some 70, 80 percent of the marks. Okay. So coming to the you know profit by you know, asking example about uh, profit maximization. Hmm. Any uh, example that you can quote or uh, try to understand? Profit maximizing the profit in terms of the period profits. For example, the interest rate they, they have like uh, one lakh and next year they have to go much more or five lakh. Okay. How it is differentiate? I'm asking. Which one is better? Whether company see when company is looking at a profit that is purely profit based, it is a profit maximization. Well, it includes overall the achievements, not only the profit. Well, okay. it's all. You can even consider from individual perspective, forget about company or business, how profit maximization and wealth maximization can be even adopted in your own individual life. No, no, I am talking about you know, comparing it with the individual. As a individual, yes. About you know, including the concept is applicable to you. Now you, it is in your hands whether to select profit maximization or wealth maximization. So accumulation of more capital in an individual. So capital. accumulation of more capital. Okay. And overall the investment mm -hmm. capital mm -hmm. that leads to you know better way to enter the business. And no, it makes forget about business and Absolutely, you know. You know, it, you know, it makes you know better way to handle the life also as it takes in the industry. Mm -hmm. So out of the you know wealth, wealth, so we can earn a you know for earn a profit by investing somewhere. Okay. Or I can give better example. Probably you have done your M Com, master degree, so already done, and probably if you are already working. Okay. Now, I don't know. Or I can take example like after UG also people join. For you know, job. Well, I told I am uh, you know taking classes for a Pondicherry training MBA program, which is organized by Central University of Pondicherry. Okay, all are working professionals. You know what is the strength of you know this particular batch? Thousand two hundred students have taken admission this year, this last year. Thousand two hundred students are pursuing their final year with their MBA under the you know mode of twinning MBA program. All you know, joined their companies after their degree, become BBM, whatever the degree, and soon after, sometimes they felt that it is not going to make much difference. Okay, their career may end in you know within a few years, or I cannot move or climb the ladder at a speed what my master degree gives. Okay, so they have joined twinning MBA. Every Sunday, so many classes will be there, and uh, you now with a minimum number of weeks they can complete with their MBA with the central government and you know, central university is offering. That's why it is the name itself is screening MBA. Neither regular nor distance. Okay. See those who have joined after UG probably you may get some 15 20 thousand salary. Okay. And if you decide that itself is as a profit maximization. Okay. People also even have option. Better, I will take another two years of time. I will invest my time and money and pursue my master's degree. Okay, spending two years of time with you know some uh, money into investing on that, and you are looking at the wealth maximization. Okay, so or even changing of your profession, like you are working in a particular designation or some office or some you know particular post. Now you are looking at a higher level of you know post or designation or responsibilities where it gives you better mileage in your career. Okay. What you have opted to take up the course or write the exam, prepare for the exam. Okay. So obviously you are investing your time and money. Right? Only because of wealth maximization. You wanted to make wealth maximum. Otherwise you can comfortably you know, uh, you know work in the same company or same designation, but do not know how long you can sustain in a particular company. Okay, so that is what uh, you know difference in profit maximization. Profit is very short term. Okay, wealth maximization is long term. In very simple terminology, if you differentiate, okay, both uh, wealth maximization and profit maximization. 
So obviously, the role of a finance or financial management or a finance manager is very high or very very important role. They are, you know, uh, taking in a particular company in any in any uh, business for that matter. Role of finance manager or financial management itself is very very high. Okay, you cannot ignore that particular part of you know role of financial management. The concepts whatever we are you know studying, probably some of you are already utilizing this. Uh, maybe uh, uh, having experience in your day to day work experience. The concepts of uh, even. Uh, MBS or MCOM, financial management or tax management, whatever. So it is having its own applications on day-to-day -day life. That is why sometimes when you are studying some concepts, you feel okay, happy at least these concepts are applicable in our life. Okay, whatever the even problem you take, you can immediately you can correlate that problem or you know situation with your real life experience, and it you know gives you the same. Uh, kind of uh, uh, you know, motivation at least if I study this okay so at least if not you know, normally the engineering students have a complaint most of the engineering students if you ask them whatever they study will not have any impact or effect on their work because the concepts what they study not that it is not at all applicable but it will be applicable sometimes in the higher level of their career or in research or research and development. Okay. Sometimes probably you have heard about some mathematics concepts like calculus, integration, differentiation. Okay. Even though most of the engineering students or PC students uh, they doesn't know where exactly these concepts are applicable. Okay. So simply they have to memorize problem, they solve many number of problems, but they do not know even where exactly the concepts are applicable and how it is helpful to the uh, you know, society. But in our subjects like commerce, it is uh, you know, because I, you know, my area is both science and commerce. I have done my degree science and entered to commerce line. Okay. So that's the reason because science we are totally different world altogether. Okay. We have a definition, you have to memorize and write it as it is. If the definition is four lines, you have to write four lines, over it is. Only one definition. One scientist has given the definition, that definition is over. But here it is of your own way of writing the answers okay how you understand the concepts based on that people will accept your answer and there is no right and wrong answers again some of the questions especially answers there is no right and wrong you can defend your answers in your own way some most of the cases in our case study problem okay case study just we are taking a reference whatever the decision even you can take example of quotes what are the court judgments? Okay, court judgments you cannot say it is right or wrong. Okay, this is just a reference. That's why you, whenever they give a decision, okay, the decision is referred by some other cases in, in the past, some Supreme Court, High Court. Okay, so as per this decision or this particular cases, they will refer and accordingly this case is also considered. Okay, so you cannot say this decision is wrong. Based on the evidences, based on the you know, uh, uh, proofs and the arguments, discussion happened, the decision is made. Same way, exactly, even you have to follow in a uh, subjects of these you know, commerce subjects. Any subjects, whatever the HR related, market related, marketing related, absolutely the same concept is applicable. Okay. So, quickly we will start with the concept of time value of money. Which is Time. Value of money change according to 
ओके व्हाट टाइम यू आर मोर प्रॉफिट्स और मोर मनी ड्यूरेशन ऑफ टाइम ओके व्हाट टाइप ऑफ रिलेशनशिप इज दिस दैट यू आर मेनी इज ऑन डिक्रीजिंग एज द टाइम गोस अप एज द टाइम इंक्रीजेस वैल्यू ऑफ मनी डिक्रीजेस ओके नो ओके ओके हां यस यस सर नो यू कैन नो justify your i'm not telling this right as if okay right or wrong is you uh, know uh, makes no much difference yes according to you as time increases value of money increases it is no uh, no according to you any example you can be you know define your price of your some are any properties like i am not talking about the price of a property or a price Price is different. Value of money is different. Probably I'll give a better example. Okay, my father started his career in government service in 1975 with a salary of 110 rupees. 110 rupees. Okay. Even now, same 110 rupee exists. Okay. 110 rupees exists. Right? Okay. okay. What is the value of that 110 rupees? If three of if all of us goes for tea, coffee, it is not sufficient. But my father has run his entire family of five to six. Okay, one month salary it was right. So just the last year, one particular provident fund company people have called me. Okay, and they have asked me a pension scheme. They have given some information about pension scheme, and they have asked the same thing. Okay, so they gave you know every month you have to deposit five thousand rupees till the year of sixty. Okay. After completion of your sixty, you will get lump sum amount of fifty two lakhs, or every month thirty thousand pension. This was a plan. Okay. So I just I was sitting in my college in my cabin. I had in front of my my calculator was there scientific calculator. Just I calculated the value of money. After thirty years, using the concept of again time value of money, if I deposit every month five thousand rupees for another thirty years, what is the value of that amount at the end of thirty years? After thirty years, in my calculator it gives almost one crore two lakhs something in the range. Okay, then I replied to that lady. She called me. Yes, I agree with your plan. Okay, if I know the value. What I am talking about, taking the interest rate as a nominal interest rate of around nine to ten percent, okay, average for a period of thirty years. That was the you know calculation what I have considered. Then uh, I told this is the value what I am getting one crore two lakhs. You talk to me anything your plan, anything about this value one crore. See always you have to see the worth of the product. Beyond that, you can.